What's up guys, I'm Trey, and today I'm talking about the Sony a6300 and why I think this tiny little sleeper of a camera can still compete in 2021, almost 2022. This camera came out almost seven years ago. It has stood the test of time and there's not much I can say about it that hasn't already been said. So I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. Pound for pound, this camera goes the fucking distance. For like five or 600 bucks, you get 4K 8-bit log in a fully customizable, tiny mirrorless body. And if you deck it out real quick, bam, you have a fully capable set ready rig that shoots cinema quality footage. And I picked up all of this for like a thousand bucks. Body, lens, cage, monitor, battery, dummy battery, everything to get going. Insane. For me, the only important feature that separates this from something that costs 10 times as much is 4K at 60 frames, which for all my purposes, I can let that go. And if you're getting in at this price point, you're gonna have to let that go too. But let me just start an argument real quick. This is my third camera and the other two are Canon. Now, that's generally frowned upon in this industry. But after a lot of years of color correcting in post to fix in-camera mistakes, I'm certain that by properly matching your settings in camera, you can make the shots match seamlessly in post. I'm gonna be using this basically for live streams, performance gigs, and corporate type stuff. None of that really requires the color science to be a perfect absolute match so maybe that's kind of a hot take but let me know in the comments if you agree or if you think that's complete sacrilege so here's some footage from my first few shoots with this thing i'm super happy with this it is true getting used to the menu and all the different buttons and everything is a little bit tough it took a couple of sit downs and some youtube tutorials to really figure this thing out but now i've kind of dialed in the settings and the color profiles and the custom buttons and it's just a pleasure to have in the toolkit and speaking of toolkits. I am a sucker for jankily designed custom foam inserts, so I have to show this off. Anyways, I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you have any questions about this setup, hit me in the comments. Stay tuned. Peace.